Rumors of a Facebook phone ran amok for ages, but little did we know that Facebook's plans were much larger than a single phone. Instead, the company launched a home replacement for Android, Facebook Home, and HTC was the first to jump on that bandwagon. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our full review of the HTC First. The first thing you will notice about the HTC First is that the hardware and design are extremely minimal. The sides and back are made of soft touch plastic, as are the power button and the volume rocker. And at 126mm tall, 65mm wide, 8.9mm thick, and 123.9 grams, it is much smaller and more lightweight than most other Android phones today. It's a mid-range phone by design, but the feel and level of finish on the first are more reminiscent of a premium phone. It's solid in the hand and has a nice grippy feel to it, and its modest 4.3 inch display is much more manageable than the horde of larger Android phones. There's only one aspect of the hardware and design that we didn't like, however. The micro USB port is located just above the center point on the right side, making it awkward to charge and use the phone at the same time. For a mid-tier device, the HTC First specifications are fairly impressive. It packs a 1.4 GHz dual-core Snapdragon 400 chipset, 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of fixed storage, a 5 MP camera with a 1.6 MP camera around front, a 2000 mAh battery, and AT&T LTE connectivity. Of all of its specifications, the display is easily the most notable feature. It measures only 4.3 inches diagonally, but it bears a resolution of 720p for a density of 342 pixels per inch. Of the Super LCD type, it boasts vibrant yet still fairly accurate colors, wide viewing angles, and decent visibility in bright sunlight. The contrast is passable, but the blacks are still a little gray. Overall, we have very few complaints as far as hardware goes. The HTC First is the first phone to come with Facebook Home pre-installed, so when you first power the phone on and log into your Facebook account, your newsfeed will appear as your home screen. The photos your friends share to Facebook, or their cover photos if a status doesn't include a picture, will serve as a temporary wallpaper. You can continue to scroll through your newsfeed by swiping left or right, and you can easily interact with each status. Double tapping anywhere on the home screen will like the current status. Jumping back to the application drawer is quick and simple too. Tap a blank area on the home screen and drag your profile photo over the apps icon, or simply press the home button. From there, you can quickly open any application, or check into places, or even share a status or photo. What sets Facebook Home on the HTC First apart from any other device with Facebook Home installed are notifications and the Google search bar at the top of the application drawer. On the downloadable version of Facebook Home, the notifications displayed on the lock screen are only Facebook notifications. On the HTC First, all system notifications, meaning anything displayed in the notification shade, appear in the Facebook Home notifications. For avid Facebook fans, Facebook Home is easily the best and most visually pleasing way to consume your Facebook newsfeed, but it's a quick way to suffer from a Facebook overload, and it has its drawbacks. It's also worth mentioning that Facebook Home is still quite new, and there are quite a few bugs that have yet to be ironed out. Fortunately, there's a silver lining. Facebook Home can be completely disabled, and beneath it, the HTC First runs an otherwise stock version of Android 4.1.2. With Snapdragon's mid-tier chipset on board, the performance on the HTC First certainly isn't mind-blowing, but it definitely warrants some praise. All things considered, it scored quite well in synthetic benchmarks, and in day-to-day -day performance, it holds up quite well. We must note, however, that there was noticeable lag in performance hiccups with Facebook Home enabled. Running the stock interface made the device run much more smoothly. Call quality on the HTC First was great. The ERP speaker is plenty loud, even in noisy environments and the quality of audio was crisp. We had no complaints from people on the other end having trouble hearing us. Also, the loudspeaker for speakerphone was extremely loud and clear. The first also runs on AT&T's LTE network, and it featured some of the fastest speeds we've seen to date. We found battery life on the first to be decent, likely thanks to a more efficient processor and a smaller display. In normal usage, a full day without a supplementary charge was possible, but in heavy usage, the battery managed to drain much more quickly. In other words, the battery life isn't necessarily bad, but it could be better. Lastly, the camera on the first is probably its worst feature. The sensor is only 5 megapixels, and pictures tend to lack sufficient detail. It was quick to blow out whites, and many images lack proper contrast, giving the effect of a milky photo. When the camera was on point though, we were able to take some very impressive photos with the first and color reproduction was spot on. However, the times it was great were few and far between. 
The HTC First, although a mid-range device, is a diamond in the rough. The performance is better than we've seen out of any other mid-range phone. The build quality is fantastic, the display is gorgeous, and it comes with software options, either full-on Facebook Home or the stock Android experience. There are some compromises with the first, however. The camera isn't great, the storage is quite limited, and some might find the display to be too small. Others, of course, might find the smaller display just right. We give the HTC First an 8 out of 10. That about does it, so if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And follow us in all of the normal places, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook at Simply Pocket Now. You can follow me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time. The company instead launched a home... Blur the company instead released a Facebook... Oh, oh God. Subscribe and stay tuned for more H... That'll be more coverage. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more HTC First coverage in the future.